My bathroom looks like an Ulta threw up all over it, so it's time to take care of it. Declutter with me while I tell you about one of the worst things that happened to me while I was 16. I had just broken up with my first official boyfriend. I can't remember the specifics of why we broke up, but I do remember the specifics of his truck. For whatever reason, he couldn't park his car at the high school parking lot, and he was parking it in front of my house. I lived pretty close to the school. I naively allowed that arrangement to continue after we broke up because I thought I was being nice. You know, maybe we'd get back together down the road. Young love. Back in good old Puyallup, the way you would ask someone to a dance was by decorating their vehicle. So what did I see one day when I came home from school? My ex-boyfriend's truck parked in front of my house completely decorated by another girl to ask him to the Sadie Hawkins dance. When I tell you that I wanted to go into a deep hibernation and never emerge, that would be accurate. This girl knew exactly what she was doing. I texted him and told him he was no longer allowed to park at my house. He texted me back. Each of these texts is costing me 10 cents each, by the way. Then I ran inside to my goddess of a mother and she pulled me into a big hug and ran out the door immediately to go get my favorite Ben and Jerry's. Later that day after school, when he came to pick up his truck, he knocked on the front door and said he was sorry, but I was like, it's too late. And also it's kind of your fault, but also not really. Of course it was all the buzz at school the next day. Like, oh my gosh, did you hear what happened to Crystal? And of course, now that I look back, it's not such a big deal because it was actually pretty lame of her and had nothing to do with me. But back then I thought it was all about me. So now you know more about me and my bathroom is totally decluttered. This was super satisfying.